to start this discussion with Agba, and the idea of showing it again was a hugely exciting moment for myself, just to know that you know, even part of this exhibition could be seen again. I grew up in a small town near Geelong. I didn't really see much graffiti or street art growing up there, but for me, exploring the city was all about skateboarding. And before moving to Melbourne in 2001, I would often catch a train up and see the graffiti along the corridors of the train lines. And the closer you got to the city, the more graffiti you would see. And once I finally moved there, I'd actually see a lot more street art and smaller stencils and stickers in the laneways of the city and I actually really fell in love with that style of artwork. The idea of making a stencil, it was more graphic and that kind of appealed to me on a maybe a skateboard graphic kind of aesthetic. For me it was more about a, a social activity of going to these places and putting up the work and hanging out with my friends and eventually I finally had to give up the skateboard. And, but I was very happy to continue painting and that became my new social activity. There wasn't really, at the time, galleries really accepting us as um, traditional artists to show our work, but we weren't really concerned with that at all. We were just out there painting for the fun of it. That's when we started um, our studio, which was the back half of a shed that was mainly filled with washing machines and old car parts and we could rent it really cheap and we found a sign that said Everfresh and that became the name of our studio. The first solo exhibition was in 2011 at Backwards Gallery and I think I took um, three months off from my clients at the time and did the exhibition and I was so lucky that everything sold out and I actually never had a day job since then.